Welcome back to a new tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the Gradio, which helps us on creating interactive data apps easily on web. We can create web apps with just few lines of code using Gradio, and I'm going to show you how we can use that with different examples. It's great for machine learning deployment, and we can directly start coding. I'm in the VS code, but you can use any code editor that you want. And at the first place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Python file like, let's say, app.py. And in here, firstly, I want to show you how you can install the Gradio. So for installing the Gradio, you will say pip install Gradio, and it's going to install automatically. And if you're using Mac, you need to go with pip3. And if you make this run, you are going to have Gradio. And also, I want to show you the version that I'm using on this tutorial. So I'm using the 5.25.1. Okay, now let's quickly talk about Gradio. Gradio is a Python library that lets you easily create web interfaces for your machine learning models and data apps. With just a few lines of code, you can turn any function into a shareable app. So for using that, we will say import Gradio as GR, and then we are going to use its functionalities. Like, let's start with a really basic app, not a machine learning or data app. Let's say we are going to define a function to make the text uppercase. We will pass the text inside. It's going to return text.upper. And then for creating a Gradio interface, we will say demo, and it's going to be Gradio interface. We are going to set function to uppercase. Input is going to be text and outputs is going to be text. Like inputs is the thing that we give in the function and on the outputs we are going to get a uppercase text. Okay, now we can just say demo.launch for making our app run. It's this easy. So I'm going to make this run and in terminal we are going to see that we have the text running on local URL and it says this local address and also it says to create a public link set share equals a true in launch. I'm going to talk about that, but not now. Firstly, let's see our URL, the app that we create in here. So you're just going to go to this address from your browser. I'm just going to copy that. You can go with control click too. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in Google Chrome address bar. And I'm going to be recording on the browser. You can just follow this link, this address. You can just enter it for reaching to this app. Okay, here we can see that at this address, we have our app ready and let's test out. Like I'm going to say hello and I will say submit. Here we can see the output with uppercase letters. Great, it's working smoothly. Like great, submit, great. Okay, here we have our web app ready with just three lines of code. And from settings, we can just set the language or we can change the theme like this. And now I'm going to be recording back on my code editor. So as soon as we don't close the session in this terminal, we can reach to our app from the localhost. And I'm just going to cancel that by Ctrl and C. And here I want to share that if we set share to true and make this app run again, we are going to get a public link for our app. And here we have a public URL and I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in my browser and I'm going to be re-recording on my browser. So here we have our app again in this link, but the difference is this link is publicly available. Like if you share this link with your friend or your manager, they can reach to your app from here, just this link. So this is one of the best features of Gradio and like I'm going to try that. Here we are going to get our result. You can host your apps publicly easily using share across the true on the launch. So if you want to share your app with anyone, you can just make this share true and share this public link. Great. So let's do machine learning examples. I'm going to start with a sentiment analysis with a model that we train. So at the first place, I will say, let's close the terminal import numpy as yamp, import pandas as pd, import, actually not import, from scikit-learn, feature extraction.txt, import count vectorizer. Next up, we are going to say from scikit-learn, may you 
base import multinomial name base from scikit-learn model selection import train test split and I call it the really simple data set for this tutorial since our goal in this tutorial is not the machine learning but creating apps it's going to be a simple model and it's not really important and here I'm going to make this into a data frame and explain the data to you clearly here we have example reveals and the labels one for the positive zero for the negative and like I love this product is one absolutely terrible experience is zero and we have 10 reviews like this pretty simple one so let me make this one data frame that had I will print this and here from the terminal we are going to see our data sets right now here it is so we have the labels and reviews so let's train a simple model I will say x train x test y train y test train test split I will press data frame reveal at the first place then data frame label and let's set the test size as 0.2 okay next up what I'm going to do is I will say vectorizer it's going to be a count vector size initialization and x train vector is going to be vectorizer fit transform x train next up we will say model is going to be multinomial name base and we will say model dot fit x train vectorized and y train great so with this we have our model when we make this run and we are going to create our gradio interface right now so we will say define predict sentiment and we will pass past text inside and vectorized text is going to be vectorizer carefully here we will use transform not fit transform because we are not training text the thing that we get from this and we will say prediction is going to be model.predict we will pass vectorized text and we will get the prediction like this next up we are going to return positive if prediction equals to one else negative like this okay let's create our interface sentiment app is going to be gradio interface function predict sentiment and inputs will be text and outputs will be text and we can say like demo.launch sentiment app.launch like this okay let's make this run here we have our local URL text again I'm going to be recording on this address on my browser right now okay here is our app let's test it out I will say worst thing I have ever so let's try this out oh we got an error because of small typo I'm going to fix that and show you how I fixed that then I'm going to be retrying the same sentence so here it says method object is not subscribable so we will say not like this so we need to use parentheses on methods and now I'm going to save this and we are going to be good to go let's restart our app and now we are going to have the app ready learning smoothly I have the same example I refreshed my page and here our prediction is negative okay let's make it also positive example so I will say like great product thank you and let's see our prediction it's positive great so here is our web app now let's make another machine learning example I'm going to close the terminal and I'm just going to clean this code like this I'm going to have I think numpy and pandas 2 and in here I have a code for data creation for a regression model I will say scikit-learn linear model import linear regression and I'm just going to make a copy paste on data creation here is my code and let me call you data frame dot head so here is our data frame is going to be ready in here in a second after I make it run with print so 
it's going to be like this area bedroom age price okay let's train a simple linear regression model and create a web app on it so i will say like let's say in here we can close the terminal x is going to be data frame we will use area bedrooms and age and y is going to be data frame price and regression model will be linear regression we will train the model by fit like this okay now we will create a function and build gradio app so i will say define predict price area bedrooms age and it will be input data frame is going to be pandas data frame we will pass area bedrooms and age and we will use the columns like columns area bedrooms and age like this great next up we will say prediction is going to be regression model dot predict input data frame and we will get the prediction from here next up we are going to return the prediction in an f string like we can add this and we can say prediction and let's format it out like this okay cool next up we are going to create our interface like house price app is going to be gradio interface we will say function will be predict price and inputs are going to be gradio number label is going to be area with square feet next we will say gradio slider one five step will be one and label will be bedrooms and gradio slider zero thirty step will be one and let me fix this step will be one label will be age of hours and in here we are going to say outputs is going to be text so we can just say house price app that launch and I'm going to make this run and I'm going to be recording back on the browser on this address again here I'm going to refresh the page and we have our app ready we can enter the area like this I'm going to enter bedrooms from my slider I will say age of house is let's say 17 and here is our prediction and we can change this values like let's say top and I'm going to submit here we have our output changed like our machine learning app is working smoothly great so let's increase this number we are going to see that our output is increased okay it's giving our models predictions smoothly now I'm going to make a final example on combining multiple inputs and outputs we are going to create a BMI calculator with text and graph output so I'm just going to remove them and I will say import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and in here I'm going to define a function like calculate BMI weight and height next up we will say BMI equals to weight is divided by height divided by 100 and the power of 2 like this next we are going to say category and we are going to define categories like underweight if BMI is less than 0.5 I need to check the value okay we will say normal if BMI is less than 25 else we will say overweight if BMI is less than 30 else we will say obese like this okay and we are going to plot a BMI bar like we will say figure x plt dot subplots like this and we will say x dot bar we will pass BMI and we will say BMI like this the value that we get in here and we are going to say color will be let's say sky blue and I'm going to say set y limit and 0 and 40 set y label bmi and i'm going to say 
line, horizontal line, 0.5 color green and line style will be dashed like this. Okay, I need three of this, so I will just edit on copy paste. And in here for the second, we will say 25 color will be orange. And on the third, we will say like 30 and color, let's say red. And we are going to set the title as BMI indicator. Okay, great. Now we need to return this like BMI in an F string. We will say BMI. We are going to format that and we will say next category and we are going to return the figure with this. Okay, cool. Now let's create the interface. So BMI app is going to be Gradio interface. We will say function will be calculate BMI and inputs are going to be Gradio number. Label is going to be weight in terms of kilograms and number label is going to be height and in terms of centimeters. Okay. And we are going to specify the outputs as text with a plot. Okay, great. So I will say BMI app.launch. And let's make our app run. So here it's working smoothly. I'm going to be re recording in this address. Here we have our app ready and we can try our app like I. So I will say. 190 for the height and for the weight I will say 80 let's try that here it says normal and we can see the BMI indicator and we can change it like 150 and 120 or it says obvious and let's make an example like 4d to 170 we can see overweight great both the plot and the output is working smoothly our app is doing nice. 190, let's say 100, our result is overweight. Okay. Okay, that was it for our coding tutorial. And with just simple this gradio.interface method and passing a function inside with inputs and outputs, we can create machine learning web apps really easily. And with using that launch, we can directly host it and we can set shared true for sharing it with anyone that we want without any effort with the link that is given by Gradio. Great. Thanks for watching. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this tutorial on Gradio. I am sharing new videos every week on my channel about data science. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.